With Ariana Grande posting today about being body shamed and just raising awareness to that, give a message that body shaming is for no one. Health shaming is for no one. Skinny people using this song um, to talk about their teeth and how they're too skinny and... Hello YouTube and welcome to the Body Honesty Project. My name is Lydia and today we will be talking about the many paradoxes of fat acceptance. And to illustrate this, I will be taking some clips from popular fat activist Splotch Maker. Now, the three paradoxes that I will be covering today are, nobody should be body shamed, except if you're thin, you shouldn't create a body hierarchy, unless it's a fatriarchy, and you can't recover from one ED by adopting another ED, unless that new ED is BED. So Leia or Splotch Maker tends to make these videos saying one thing and then making a different video that says another. And like many other fat activists, she changes the narrative to suit her situation. Whatever she says is never true for all people. It's like there's one set of rules for fat people and another set of rules for thin people. So why don't we start at the beginning? With Ariana Grande posting today about being body shamed and just raising awareness to that, I just want to, you know, give a message that body shaming is for no one. Health shaming is for no one, okay? Like, I don't care how small or how big you are, you do not have a right to judge someone. You do not have the right to health shame. You do not have the right to harass and judge. And they know more about their health than you. Point blank. Done. That's it. They know. They know their own health. You're just guessing. You're assuming. So stop with the guessing. Stop with the assuming. Because you know what they say. If you assume, it makes an ass out of you. So stop it. Cut it out. And you know what? I agree with her on this one. Nobody deserves to be body shamed, no matter your size. We don't have the right to comment on someone else's body just for them existing. And you know what? I do believe that Splotchy has been bullied. I do. I really do. Because I scrolled through so many of her TikToks, and yes, she does get a lot of hateful comments. And those are wrong. Full stop. Those are wrong. However, there are some comments that I don't constitute as bullying or body shaming. They're just asking questions or asking her to back up the statements that she's saying. That's not bullying or body shaming. But you know what is body shaming that Leia doesn't think is body shaming? Attacking thin people's insecurities. And to me, that is body shaming because you're attacking not only their body, but also their mental health, meaning what they think of their body, because thin women are not allowed to vocalize their insecurities. So let's take a look at some examples of splotch maker commenting, discrediting, and bullying thin women. So I found out about the shenanigans on Twitter when Fat Fab Feminist tweeted about it. Um, skinny people using this song specifically about growing up as a fat person um, to talk about their teeth and how they're too skinny and uh, it's such a great analogy for where mainstream body positivity is now compared to what it was intended for it was created to liberate the most marginalized of bodies you know black brown disabled fat super fat bodies and now it's been watered down to being about self-love and body image. I just really wish thin people would stop commandeering these things and these movements. Inserting yourself, taking up too much space. She keeps making these fat phobic videos. Please complain about something else besides looking like a millionth of a fat person. I hate this so much. I have fat thighs. But why? Boys like thick thighs. You don't get it. You just don't get it. Y'all, Taylor removed the fat close-up screenshot on Apple Music. Not changed on YouTube, but... Was honestly not expecting this, but I'm glad she seems to be taking us seriously. So, all three clips there had Splotchmaker express her disgust with skinny girl issues. And yes, I know that the last clip was supportive of Taylor, 
but the fact that Taylor had to shut up about her problems to make Splotchy happy says a lot. I don't see how it's fair to say that nobody should be body shamed, but you're allowed to mental health and body shame? Who's doing the damage here? So next up, we have Splotchy commenting on intentional weight loss and the creation of toxic body hierarchies. You can do whatever you want with your body, including intentional weight loss, but don't act like your actions exist in a vacuum because all your actions have consequences. And when you post that sort of content, you're directly contributing to a toxic body hierarchy. And does she mean toxic hierarchies like this? Okay, this is the fatness spectrum. A small fat is a size 18 and lower. 1x or 2x. I'm a 4x, 5x. I'm a size 26, sometimes 28. I am the super fat you say I'm speaking over. So it's not okay to create body hierarchies where thin is on the top of the hierarchy, but it's perfectly okay to create a different body hierarchy where the fattest is at the top. And when I say at the top, I don't mean most oppressed, like what the fat talkers will say. No, I mean that they often say that the fatter people need to have the louder voices, that the fatter you are, the more representation you deserve, that the fatter you are, the more accommodations you need. So they really are trying to give the power to the fattest people. But is that healthy? If you're a small fat, do you want to gain weight to be a mid fat so that you can have a louder voice? At least with today's beauty standards, we value health at the top, whereas the patriarchy literally has death fat as its top tier. And of course, most fat talkers do spend some time talking about their ED, even though they usually claim it's not the one that they have. But Leia is right in not fixing one ED with another. The way you combat an eating disorder is not facing other eating disorder behaviors. It's not by restricting, cutting out entire groups of things, moralizing foods as good and bad. That's not self-love, that's not health. So some of the words were correct, but the meaning that Leia implies is not. Because ED to these people only means restriction. They have no problems fixing one ED with another ED if the new ED is BED. And if she thinks that intentional weight loss content encourages EDs? Well, what the hell does this encourage? It's not impossible. Please stop motivating people to stay obese. Everyone stay fat. So as we can see, Splotchmaker posts a lot of paradoxes. And like many other fat activists, she flips the narrative whenever it suits her narrative best. And to me, that's neither fair nor honest. And on this channel, we're all about being honest. So until next time, stay body positive, but also body honest.